so I used to say characters aren't people. That was like my whole thing. Characters aren't people. I'm so smart. But then I started learning about people and the stuff I was learning became the basis for how I did character work. So it got me thinking, what point was I actually trying to make? What's the real difference between characters and people? Characters aren't actual humans, obviously, but we create them such that they fall into human patterns. And when they don't, we say that's poor characterization or that's inconsistent. So human is clearly the bar, but then it hit me. The difference isn't characters versus people, but the worlds they exist in. The alleged real world that we live in is random and chaotic. People get diseases out of the blue, accidents happen, flukes of good luck happen, scratch-offs, chance encounters, all that jazz. But the randomness of this world is not always convenient for the stories that writers want to tell. I mean, when a protagonist solves a problem through a random coincidence, it's like, hey, aren't they supposed to earn that victory? But things like that happen. It's not impossible. Hell, it might even be realistic. Except the issue had nothing to do with whether or not it was believable. The issue was that it didn't serve the characters. You can't build a character up through their choices and growth only for their ultimate fate to hinge on chance. There's a huge disconnect, but then why does this moment work? It's because Regina George gets hit by the bus after she has already been defeated on a character level. She's at her lowest and the bus is just an extension of that. This moment would not have worked here, 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 or here. It only works here, at the precise moment where the story allows for it. It's a cosmetic choice choice that accentuates an already functional story. So story logic is basically karma. Story logic is having two outlaws in a Wild West duel and Cowboy 1 wins because he's overcome his internal demons while Cowboy 2 hasn't. As someone who has been in many duels, I can assure you that that's not how duels actually work. But you're allowed to give characters what they deserve as long as they earn that outcome through their choices and development. Now I do think it's ideal to have a plot component in there too, like Cowboy 1 winning because he overcame his demons is fine, but imagine this. Imagine if you had a scene way back in the first act where the spirit of the saloon told Cowboy One, listen here kid, a man who hasn't done right by his soul, his hands are gonna be real shaky. And then in the final duel, Cowboy 2's hands are shaking, but Cowboy 1's hands aren't, and that's why he wins. That's story logic. Does not being right with your soul actually cause your hands to shake in a gunfight? No, but it doesn't matter. We custom built our own rules and we adhered to them. And so the payoff works. It reminds me of my life back before I did YouTube full time. I had a job as an instructional technologist making educational digital stuff. And for this job, I had to learn how to code in JavaScript. I hated it. But in JavaScript, you have to declare variables. That means you have to tell the computer what things are going to be important in your code. When I was writing practice code, I would tell my computer that the variable asphart was important. And since I told my computer that asphart was important and I gave asphart a specific value, the computer had to acknowledge the importance of asphart. Asphart could very well be the defining variable in a mountain of code. And as long as the importance of asphart was consistent and I didn't contradict myself, the code wouldn't have any errors. So it seems like characters are held to the standard of humans, but the world they live in is only held to the standard of self-consistency. 